Hello again. So you may have noticed in my last few videos, I don't remember if we binded our health bar to our health, but you notice that mine no longer is. This is my test project. Um, or I, I kind of advanced a little bit further just so I can go over things before we do it. But uh, my other one got corrupted. So this is the one I got now. So I'm going to show you all why this is no longer this. Um, so reason being is because it turns out binding it directly is actually fairly performance bad thing so it, it take it like checks it every frame to see what it's at so since we don't actually need that because your health can sit at a certain value for a certain amount of time we're actually going to set up a few functions in here so inside the graph let's add a custom event called update health Let's add one more custom event called update mana. And then we'll add one more custom event update XP. So let's grab our health bar for the top one. Where's our mana bar for the second one? And then our XP bar on the last one. So we will grab our player reference. And whenever we call this update health function, which we'll do from the player blueprint, but we're going to set all this up in here, we will get the current health and the max health. And just like when we bind it, we need to sub uh, divide the current health by the max health. Now from this health bar, we can set percent. And then instead of calling it every single frame, we just call it as once and then we're good. So inside the player blueprint, if we go find our restore health function, then we can get our HUD reference and call our update health bar. Just like that. And then in the game, whenever we take damage, oh yeah, we need to go do that in the damage portion. So let's go into our event graph, and then over here, when we take damage, we'll just do the same thing. So get our HUD reference, and update the health, so that it's not calling every frame, it's only calling when we either lose health or gain health. And we can do the same thing with our restore mana function get HUD ref update mana plug that in on both sides of this and then anywhere we're spending mana so like when we're casting spells down here I think is over here that's not it that's not it spell book Oh, cast. So here, where we're casting spells, let's see. So, oh, we're restoring, we're using the restore mana function to do it. So that's fine. That'll be fine. So let's go into our, since we're doing it this way, it'll automatically call that at the end of it. So let's go gain experience. And then here at the beginning if it doesn't level us up let's get our HUD ref again and we'll update XP then let's just control C to copy this move it all the way over here and then at the very end where we're doing our level up thing we'll just paste it right at the end since all of these basically like a stream just always end up down here it'll always call it so then we're good but now we need to go back into our HUD reference and actually call the rest of these or set up the rest of these so get current mana get max mana divide that and then we'll set the mana bar percent to that new value 
And then same thing, we'll get XP, current XP. And I think it's called next, get next level. Divide that. And then for the XP bar, we will set percent again. Now in order to initialize these values, we're just gonna do it manually. So over in the designer, so percent is one on that and one on that, and then zero on that. So just to show you it in action, I am going to add a little event right quick. So I'm just gonna do it on the one key, apply damage. You don't have to do this part, this is just to show you. Get a reference to self, and then five. So now when I hit that button, and now if I use a health potion, fills it back up. I don't need that other one. So yeah, that's a quick way we can do that. Let me get rid of this. So that's why mine was like that, and now yours can be like that too. I'm going to save everything real quick. All right, I'll see you all again in a bit. Bye.